All right, so I've got the chicken. First thing I like to do is I always boil my chicken for a while. Makes me feel better knowing that it's cooked through before I start frying it up. I'm going to use my seed flour that I made and I am going to cover up one one at least maybe two of the chicken breasts and the others I'm going to use either flour or breadcrumbs of some sort or whatever but we're going to test what this uh, crushed grass seed flour tastes like this one is the flour with the ranch and chili powder. This one is breadcrumbs with ranch and chili powder. And this one is the grass seed with ranch and chili powder. So I'm going to cut this chicken up into chunks and then we will deep fry it in the cast iron skillet and each one of them will get one of the three breadings and then uh, I will try to keep them separate so that I know which is which but we're gonna taste test them after it's done. What we're gonna do is uh, for the flour I've got four pieces I have three pieces that will be dipped into the breadcrumbs and then I have three pieces that will be dipped into the grass seed flour so when the uh, oil heats up a little bit more I'll go ahead and start dipping those I'm going to do the flour one first, then I'm going to do the, uh, the breadcrumbs, and then lastly we'll do the seed. So there's the flour, the breadcrumbs, and there's the grass seed. We're going to begin with the flour coating. And we will do the four pieces of flour coated chicken. Alright, next we are going to do the breadcrumb coating. And now lastly, we're going to use the breadcrumb, or I'm sorry, we're going to use the grass seeds that I gathered and milled myself. FaceTime. Michelle is not going to be on video. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be heard but not seen. I have my mashed potatoes. This is the chicken from the flour. This is the chicken from the uh, breadcrumbs. And this is the chicken from the, uh, the seed. So to let you know, this is flour, breadcrumbs, seed. Okay. So okay? I am tasting the seed one first that's because that's what, what I'm interested in. Hold on, hold on. And I'm tasting it with no dippings or nothing. No, no, so just, like yeah. Do. Tastes like chicken. There's a taste to it. It's not bad. I don't think it tastes any different than any other... 
Tastes just like chicken. I mean, the flavoring isn't, to me, isn't really that different. It's no different than. Okay, that was plain. I'm gonna do it with some ranch. Violet, stop looking. You're on camera. Mm. It's good. Fine. I mean, it's mm. no different than any other time we've made chicken. All right, now what are you doing? I'm taking a bite of the one with the breadcrumbs. Well, we know that's going to be good. You've done that before. Yes, but I'm concerned about taste and difference in taste. Yeah, I know. Mmm. There's a different taste, but I don't think it's... It's just that the seasoning is different because it's a seasoned breadcrumb. Mm-hmm. All right. And then, of course, well, don't have to worry about the flour, and I know I like the flour. <laughs> but, uh... Grass seed, grass seed coated chicken, it's and good. it's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to know that when, what's that, that acronym for the, SHTF. No, they, they call it something else. Anyway, it's good to know when the crap happens that we'll be able to. Yeah. Somehow come up I can collect grass seed and we can yeah. use it as flour. It works just as fine as flour. Yeah. So to me, to me, it doesn't have any real different taste than just no, anything else. So it literally tasted just like the other two. Yeah. So I mean, the, the breadcrumb one had the biggest difference, and that's because it's seasoned well, that's breadcrumb. because it's seasoned breadcrumb. Yeah. To do with like the grain of it, the texture yeah. of it, it was all the same. Yeah. So, so it's good. So awesome. I'm really happy and glad that I was able to uh, go out and forage for the grass seed. I was very happy about... Uh, Is there a certain time of year you can do this? Can you only do it at... Well, they have to be... I, I did it in September. Yeah, the seeds have to be... So uh, the grass has to be kind of dried yes. out, like wheat yes. and yes. soybeans. You kind of have to wait for it to dry yes, out. Yes, they have to dry out. It. Okay, that was yes. my question. Okay, yes. So... Uh, there was a little bit of more green seed in there, yeah. but most of it was was uh, up and properly good brown dried, dried seed, yeah. and uh, it all got ground up together anyway. You saw the video of well, me you grinding it. Grind it instantly. You, know, you let it dry out for a few more days. I after did. You harvested it. As a matter of fact, I let it sit out for like almost two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Before I started grinding it. So, uh, I, I give grass seed flour a thumbs up. What Me do you say? Me too. Thumbs up. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Good Thank time. you guys for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. And enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard. Bye. <laughs>